What's your name, my brother? Francisco, Francisco I'm Jehu. Make, what did you say? Uh, I, didn't, I didn't really know that Mexicans were in the Bible, but they were never mentioned. You know? They were never mentioned. Why do you think that's so? Uh, like Psalms 82 and 3. All right, so we're teaching our people who we are according to the scriptures. Who conquered you, my brother? Who conquered you? Jesus conquered you? Jesus took your land and he gave you a Spanish last name and he gave you the language that you speak right now, Spanish? Who conquered you according to the history? The white people. Right. Who in particular? Because these white people, Americans, but what specific nationality? Where did they come from when they came on this side of the earth? The Spaniards. That's who came and conquered you because you speak what? Spanish. So where does Spanish come from? Spain, my brother. Just like your last name. What's your last name? Seron. Where does that come from? Does it come from the Bible or does it come from your oppressor? It comes from your oppressor because he didn't want to know who you are. He said, you know what? Let's discontinue this brother's nationality. Watch. We're going to read it from the Bible. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 83. Keep not thou silence, O God. Hold not thy peace and be not still, O God. For lo, thy enemies, thy enemies. Do we have enemies? That's right, my brother. Check this out. A lot of our people, they don't want to say that we have enemies. We want to get along to get, a, to, we want to go along to get along with the enemies. We want the enemy to love us. That's why some of our people, they marry who? They marry the enemy. They marry the white Caucasian women because they feel that if they marry that women, that they're gonna have a better life here in America. The place where we're being oppressed. Read. For lo, thy enemies, thy enemies make a tumult. Make a tumult. A tumult is an angry gathering. Read. And they that hate thee, and they that hate thee, who hates us, brother? The white man. Does the Arab man hate us? Hell yeah, he does. Go to the shop and try to buy something and tell him that you're short one dollar. Let's see what he'll tell you. Do the Chinese hate us? Do you know of a sister in 19... I know you're probably pretty young. How old are you? 19. All right, brother. In, 19, in 1993, when the L.A. riots happened, when they beat Ronnie King. Are you familiar with Ronnie King? The LAPD beat the hell out of him. But right before they beat the hell out of that brother, a sister by the name of Latasha Harlins got killed behind her head with a gunshot by a Korean over an orange juice that she did not steal. That's called hate. Read that again. For they have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consult. Read that from the top again about the part that they hate us. For lo, the enemies make a tumult. And they that hate thee, that's how they kill Latasha Harlins. That Korean woman couldn't stand our little sister. She was from the tribe of Judah, the so-called blacks that a lot of people hate because of their dark skin. But we don't even know how beautiful dark skin is because now your complexion is a little bit lighter. So our sisters, what do they do? They got the woolly hair and what do they do? They straighten it out. And then they go to the store and they get a cream that's called whitening cream. What do you think they do with that cream? That's right. That's right. You see that? That's called self-hate because they're trying to be like this guy right here. The white Jesus. That's not even in the Bible, brother. Read. For lo, thy enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee, and they that hate us, the Arab man, the Chinese man, the white man, we, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. So in their pride, they lifted up their head. Let's see what the pride said. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. You are God's people. That's why you said earlier, I didn't know that the Mexicans were in the Bible. Read that part again. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. Against you, my brother. What'd you say your name was again? Francisco. They have taken crafty counsel against Francisco. Against the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Read. And consulted against thy hidden one. Because you were hidden for 19 years. Your parents never opened up the Bible and taught you. Hey, guess what, mijo? 
You're an Israelite according to the Bible. And when you go out to society, you're going to have a people that are going to oppress you. That's why people walk around with insecurities. We don't have that pride to say, you know what, I'm an Israelite and I got to keep these laws because I'm greater than everybody else. We, they have said, come and let us cut them up from being a nation. Let's, they said, let's cut, the, let's cut Francisco off from being an Israelite. That's what they did. Our enemies took counsel in a specific room somewhere in the earth. And they said, you know what? Let's cut these people off from being a nation. Is there more? Read. That the name of Israel. That the name of who? That the name of Israel. Because you're an Israelite, Francisco. Read. May be no more in remembrance. There will be no more in remembrance, Francisco. When I asked you if you're an Israelite, what did you say? I don't know, because you didn't remember, because the crafty counsel of the enemies, they discontinued us. But today is a new day, Francisco. Now you're gonna learn your true nationality according to the Bible. Go to Deuteronomy 28 and 15. We're gonna start from the beginning, Francisco. Let's see why our people are so oppressed. Why do you think there's a border on the, on the, on the frontera? Why do you think that's so? They don't want what? That's a good point. That's a good point, but there's another reason behind that. Just like the re But guess what, Francisco? This land never belonged to them. It be the whole earth belongs to you. This whole land, this whole United States belonged to you, Francisco. They never had land. They only had a specific territory that the Most High gave, but we're supposed to be ruling over them. Pay close attention. We're going from the beginning. Read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass. It's going to happen. This is Moses. He pulled us out of Egypt. In Egypt, what do you find that you find in Mexico? Right. But it's a, it's a specific construction that we build as a people. What, it, what do you think it is? All right. And in uh, and, uh, and Tenochtitlan, the Aztecs built what? Pyramids. Where else do you find pyramids around the world? In Egypt. Showing you what? That we were in captivity with the Egyptians. We were the people that were in slavery. Just like today, you got a job? Guess what? You're in slavery, my brother. Do you believe that? Or do you believe that you're free? We're going to prove it. We're going to prove it. Hold that and go to the book of Baruch. Hold that and go to the book of Baruch, chapter 3, verse 4 and 1. 3 and 8. I'll praise this. Baruch, chapter 3, verse 8. This is for everybody that thinks we're free. Because the Bible just stated that we're still in servitude. We're slaves. But you don't consider yourself slaves because we don't got the yokes of iron around our neck. It's not needed no more because you don't know who you are. If you knew who you were, you would have actual yokes of iron right now. Read. This is the book of Baruch, chapter 3, verse 8. Behold, we are yet this day. Behold, we are yet this day. May 2nd. What is it? May 3rd? May 2nd, 2021. Behold, we are yet this day. Read. In our captivity. In our what? In our captivity. What's captivity about? Let's find out because you answered correctly. You're all, a, listen, when you wake up in the morning, you know what's going around in society, but you can't connect it because the connection is in the Bible. Read. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity where thou hast scattered us. Whether we were scattered because where else do you find the Mexican app? Do you just find it here in the United States? They're everywhere. It's called, it's, called, it's called slavery on a slave ship. We went from rulership to slave ships. We, behold, we are yet this day in our captivity where thou hast scattered us for a reproach. For a reproach for our sin, for our misbehaving against God because the Israelites are supposed to keep the laws. That's what the Bible is all about. It's not a religion book. It's a book of your history and laws that you got to keep as a people. God's people. Read. 
Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity, where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse. And a what? And a curse. That's called a castigo. That's called a punishment. Read. And to be subject to payment. And to be subject to payment. Read. According to all the iniquities of our fathers. According to what? According to all the iniquities of our fathers. Do you know what iniquity is? Iniquity is sin. So let's get sin. First John 3 or 4. That's the iniquity because we got to find out what do we do? What do we do to deserve this oppression that we're in? What did Francisco do to go to a job where they don't give a damn about you? Where they give you a piece of crumb and you can't even survive in society? Because back then, the slave master used to take care of you. He used to buy your clothes. He used to buy your shoes. He used to feed you. But now he said, you know what? I don't want these people living around me. Let them fend for themselves and let them buy their own food. Look up behind you. That's the food that you're meant to eat. That's called slave food. Because all that food right there is not real food. Except, hey, but listen, when you go to the rich neighborhoods, they don't, got the, they don't got that junk in their neighborhoods. They don't got the liquor stores. They don't got the fast food. They got whole markets. They got farm fresh food where they get a fresh food every day. Read. This is the first book of John, chapter 3, verse 4. So we're going to find out what iniquity is, Francisco, all right? Let's find out why we're in the condition that we're in. Why you got to go to a job that doesn't pay you enough. Read. Whosoever committed sin, whosoever committed sin, listen up, transgresses also the law. For sin is, for sin is, we're going to show you what sin is. Most of you just finished going to uh, Sunday church and your pastor didn't teach you what sin was. Read. For sin is the transgression of the law. The transgression of the law. Meaning what? The breaking of the law. That's why, Francisco, you got to go to work. You got to be subject to payments. Name a couple of payments you do every month. Rent, phone, what else? Food, what else? What? Clothes, shoes, what else? Insurance, cable, car insurance, car no. Go back to Baruch. Go back to Baruch. Read that part again. Because we, in, because we were in iniquity, because we broke God's laws. Read. This is the book of Baruch, chapter 3, verse 8. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity, where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse, and to be subject to payments according to all the iniquities of our fathers. So because of all the sins of our fathers, which is in Deuteronomy 28 and 15. Go back. Deuteronomy 28 and 15. Because we came out of Egypt. We were in servitude in Egypt, building the pyramids. Because think about it. In order to be on top of a nation, you got to have what? Somebody at the bottom. Not everybody can be on top. A king is not going to go to work. A king is not going to go build a freaking pyramid. A king is going to tell his slaves, hey, build me that pyramid. Go get me gold. Go do this. Go do that. And if we don't do it, guess what? Lights out. Lights out. Read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So guess what, Francisco? Right now, you're hearkening to the voice of the Lord thy God. Look around you. Most of our people are walking to and fro. They think everything's normal. They think, they, they think that jo jo Joe Biden's going to take care of our people. That's why most of our people are coming over here. Because they see Joe Biden, the white man, as their hero. As their savior. But he ain't going to save us. He's just going to make us work even more and more for a measly crumb. Read. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments. All his commandments, Francisco. All his commandments. Read. 
and his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So now you understand. Because we failed to keep the laws, now you know why you're working for a low minimum wage job. Now you know why there's a border on the wall right there. Now you know why our children are in cages being warmed up with what? Aluminum foil blankets, brother. That's the reason the answers are right here. Verse 32. Verse 32. Verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters, thy sons and thy daughters, read, shall be given unto another people. What's going on right now in the cages? Read that again. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. That's how we know that we're the Israelites of the Bible. Because of the signs and the wonders. Don't you ever wonder why there's a border on the, on, right here on Tijuana? Don't you ever wonder why our children are in cages? Don't you ever wonder why we hate each other? Don't you ever wonder why we can't come together as a nation? The Bible prophesy about that. Go to verse 46. Verse 46, read. Verse 46, and they shall be upon thee for a sign. They shall be upon you, Francisco, for what? For a sign. So you can know that you're the people of the Bible. The sign is what? There's a, there's a border on the, on, on the uh, there's a border right there in Tijuana and Mexico. Yeah. The sign is what? That our children are in cages. The sign is what? That our pants hang below our waistline. The sign is what? That we don't know how to love one another. The sign is what? That you call yourself a Mexican instead of Issachar from the, from the nation of Israel. Read. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. How long? Forever. Until you decide to change. Because once you walk away from this, you ain't got no more excuses, Francisco. You're learning who you are according to the Bible and what you got to do to change. We're going to touch a little bit of some, uh, some history of Mexico and then we're going to go into some laws. All right, 28 and 49. Watch this. Because I asked you, who conquered us, right? Watch this. It's in the Bible. Read. Verse 49. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee. Who? The Lord shall bring a nation against thee. God is going to bring a nation against the Mexicans, against the blacks, and against the indigenous people of America, which is who? The Indians, right? Isn't that what happened in history? The Bible is saying that. Read. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. From where? From far. From Spain, Francisco. Read. From the end of the earth, all the way from the eastern hemisphere, read. As swift as the eagle fly it. As swift as the eagle fly it, because that's what? Check this out, Francisco. As swift as what? As swift as the eagle fly it. Watch this, Francisco. You see that? Eagle, eagle, eagle. It started from the Greek, Romans, Spanish, right here we got conquered, and today. America showing you that it's the same people oppressing you. What are we reading, Francisco? We're reading the Bible. The Bible that nobody wants to believe. The Bible that sits at your house with dust. The Bible that your pastor opens up and continues to lie to you, Francisco. He's a liar. We are the real priests. We are the real prophets because we're giving you the truth. Read. As swift as the eagle flyeth, a nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. Because on this side, we were speaking what? Nawa. Nawa, which is a, a, a derivative of Hebrew. Yes. When you look at history, you see in history that there's certain artifacts that the people found in New Mexico that has Hebrew writing over it. We're just proving who we are according to the Bible, Francisco, and what you got to do. Read. A nation of fierce countenance which shall not regard the person of the old. The old were the caciques, the chiefs, the people that took care of the nation. Read. Nor shall favor to the young. Nor what? Nor shall favor to the young. Go out these damn kids from the border and put their asses on the cages. That's what the Bible just said. Read. Read that part again. A nation of fierce countenance, which shall not regard the person of the old, nor shall favor to the young. Put them in cages. 
We don't care who the parent is. We don't care that the Israelites and give them aluminum foil blankets. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.